uh, an exciting time each year at the Wright Museum as we get ready to celebrate the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. Uh, let's start with uh, what's on tap this year at the museum. Yeah, well, you know, it's been a long legacy of celebrating Element, LK Day, as we call it. Um, so we're very excited to continue the tradition this year. Um, it's one of our most ante anticipated day here at the right. Um, so we are looking forward to welcoming all community members or media partners, elected officials and museum members. So what's on tap this year is um, it's always a series of activities that are not just engaging, but also impactful and um, program activities that really um, embodies the mission of the right mm -hmm. museum um, to opening minds and changing lives through the exploration and celebration of African-American history and culture. So this year, our theme, overall theme, is the tipping point of race, politics, and Dr. King's vision. Mm. I guess the idea behind that is how much has changed and how much has remained the same. And needless to say that we are at a very magical moment in history, the threshold of moving forward to the fulfill fulfillment of a dream or backwards into possibly last uh, six decades <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> um, so we have, um, uh, a full program of activity. We will be opening uh, the day with an invocation by Queen Mother Joanne Watson, who is a woman of many accomplishments, as you know, a pastor, a media personality, and also um, she was a Detroit City Council member for 10 years. Um, we will also be having a keynote, the breakfast keynote address is by Dr. Melba Joyce Boyd, mm -hmm. who is also a native Detroiter and is a distinguished professor in the Department of African American Studies at Wayne State University, and also an adjunct professor, a professor um, at University of Michigan. She's also an awarding winning author and editor of about three books mm -hmm. and um, she composed the first official poem for the Charles H. Wright, Wright Museum, which is inscribed in our dedication wall. And she was the poet laureate for the Wright, Wright Museum. So we are looking forward to hearing her presentation on Fred was feeling it. <laughs> 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 Echoes of Frederick. Douglas in the yeah. voices of Gil Scott Heron, Heron and Childish Gambino. Oh, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, and that 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 really speaks, I think, to the way that the right uh, kind of indulges the state. It's not just uh, a celebration of Dr. King and his life. It's also a celebration of us as Detroiters and our particular spin or or connection to um, uh, Dr. Wright and his legacy. And that's, it's different because it is Detroit. Yeah. Yeah, I think that is a, a great point. Um, you know, there is a Dr. King's universal vision, but, you know, how it impacts us individually in the place that we live. Much of it is about geography, location, who your community is, you know, listening to the voices of your community and really using that information to, to fuel, fuel you, to interpret, you know, your stories, whether um, it is, you know, the African-American story cannot be told in one way, mm -hmm. you know, because we all have different interpretations of it and we have different experiences of it. So we have to figure out ways in which to, to present it. And so we can share, share our voices together. Yeah. Um, this is an important uh, milestone year uh, in the legacy of Dr. King, of course, uh, this is the year uh, 60 years ago that, that, that he gave um, his I Have a Dream speech uh, on the mall in Washington. And of course, he did that first 
here uh, in Detroit um, uh, after a march uh, uh, downtown. Um, talk about how how significant that is in the in the right celebration of King Day in in 2023. Is there much of a look back to 1963? Well, um, I'm glad that you mentioned that because a lot of people I know don't know that that speech was delivered here first in Detroit. One of the things throughout the day, because we, we were focusing on the tipping point, right, as, as our theme. So one of the things that we're going to be doing is doing a film screening um, for the documentary, Who We Are, The Chronicle of Racism in America, which, which comes out of um, uh, ACLU Deputy Legal, Legal Director, um, Jeffrey Robinson. Mm -hmm. And he uses a lot of... Um, interviews, revelations, personal antidotes to kind of draw this timeline of anti-Black racism in the United States from slavery to modern day, day and kind of our collective responsibility as how we can overcome that. So of course, in the back of my head is, you know, how do we do that, right? How, how can we overcome that, we sang that, we, we we saw the dream, right? We talk about like, you know, everybody knows that I have a dream, mm -hmm. you know, speech, but what what is the, beyond the dream, what is the vision and where it is that we actually are now with that vision? And that's why the tipping point is so, um, so important to us, right? So we're, in addition to just like having uh, the film screening, we're also looking at programming that people can empower um, themselves through 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 the King's legacy. So we're doing uh, throughout the day like a tipping the point poetry workshop where um, it's a workshop about creating poem, the form of poetry, and helping people just find their poetic voice, mm -hmm. right? Then there is Restoring the Dream workshop where they learn about that, that famous King's March um, in Memphis, Tennessee, in support of sanitation workers where, you know, they use the iconic I am a man protest sign and create their own and again, voice, a vision. Um, then it's tipping the scales of justice where you're using what's issues we're facing right now in our society mm -hmm. and how we can empower ourselves to overcome them or to defeat them. And then what's your dream? Um, so using the Adinkra symbols of the Akan people, participants will consider their dreams in relationship to Dr. King's speech, I have a dream. Yeah. So that's pretty much the day except um, at the end of the day, we are uh, our president um, and CEO, Mr. Neil Barkley, is um, launching a presidential lecture series, um, which is a curated collection of events by selected speakers um, who can bring insight and conversation to some of the critical issues that we're facing in the areas of civic en engagement, art, history and culture. Mm -hmm. So we'll be cut, 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 kicking off that lecture series with um, Charles Blow, the pro mm -hmm. uh, uh journalist, com commentator um, of the New York Times and uh, political analyst of MSNBC. And you might, I'm sure you know him and he's the author of a couple of books, Fire, Shut Up in My Bones and The Devil you know. Mm -hmm. um, so he will be closing our um, evening program uh, with uh, his critical lens. Yeah, right. Where we are. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, it's always an exciting day. And uh, I always, uh, when we talk about it here on the show, want to remind people that this is about us as a community, that that this day at the right wouldn't be special without Detroiters. Uh, so we need people to come out and and be part of it and and take in all of the things that we can learn, but also uh, express that very Detroit sense that we have of uh, of not just Dr. King and his legacy, but uh, of course of civil rights and the fight 
uh, for equality. Um, so we want people to, to be there with you. Yes, we do. And um, they can find more information out on our website, which is www.theright.org. Um, and when you get on it, sign up for a newsletter. Mm -hmm. um, this is a ticket event, ticketed event. So please get your tickets as early as possible so we can celebrate together. And while you're here, we will also have so our exhibitions. Um, so exhibitions will be open. So our core exhibition, still and still we rise, um, will be open to for you to enjoy and explore, as well as our jazz greats and and again the you know the Detroit uh, jazz, which is accompanies the other exhibition, which again looks at the legacy of um, Detroit jazz musicians here. Yeah. And um, we look forward to spending the day with you at the yeah. night. Yeah. Well, uh, it's a great to have you here as well to talk with us. Thanks so much for joining us on American Black Journal. Thank you for having me.